Hello everybody, I'm Nonny from Bristol Plays Music and in today's Earth Song lesson we're going to be learning about note values. But for now, let's do a warm-up to get our brains working. So can everybody shake one arm and the other arm and shake one leg and the other leg and shake all over and stretch and give me a nice yawn and a stretch and an even bigger yawn and a stretch. Oh, lovely, and I want you to make yourselves as tall as a house, and as small as a mouse, and as thin as a pin, and as wide as a smile. Lovely, now we're all nicely warmed up. Let's, let's look at some note values. So, can anybody tell me what sort of a musical note this is? I'm going to give you a clue. It begins with cr. That's right, this is a crotchet. And today we're looking at bars of 4-4 four, four rhythm, which means a section of music which is the length of four crotchet beats. And this is what four crotchet beats looks like. But for every crotchet, we're going to say frog. Now I'm going to clap and say it, and then I want us to clap and say it together. Frog, 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 frog. Let's give it a go. Frog, 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 frog. Fantastic. So, can anybody tell me what sort of a note this is? I'm going to give you a clue. It begins with qu, and it has the same name as a cheesy curly crisp. That's right, these are quavers, and a quaver lasts for half of the length of a crotchet. So, can anybody tell me what two times four equals? That's right, two times four equals eight. So, if you can fit four crotchets in a bar, you can fit double the amount of quavers in, which is eight quavers. And this is what eight quavers looks like. Now, for every monkey, we need two claps for two quavers. So I'll say and clap it, and then we can say and clap it together. Monkey, 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 monkey. Let's give it a go. Monkey, 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 monkey. Brilliant. So for the next cards, we've got combinations of crotchets and quavers all making up different 4-4 four, four rhythms. So if I clap and say them, and then we clap and say them together. Frog, frog, monkey, frog. Let's give it a go. Frog, frog, monkey, frog. Brilliant. Monkey, frog, frog, monkey. Your turn. Monkey, frog, frog, monkey. Fantastic. And last but not least, frog, monkey, frog, monkey. Your turn. Frog, monkey, frog, monkey. Brilliant. So, now at home, I want you to find yourselves a piece of paper and draw a grid like this. So you need two rows with four boxes in each row. So you need eight boxes all together. Now, once you've drawn your grid on your piece of paper, we need to fill the animals in in the top row. Now, I'm using monkeys and frogs, and you can use monkeys and frogs as well, but you don't have to. If you wanted to, you could change monkey to a different two-syllable animal, like rabbit. And if you wanted to change frog, you could change it to a one-syllable animal, like cat. But we're going to use monkeys and frogs here. So, in my first box, I'm going to put in a monkey. In my second box, I'm going to put in another monkey. In my third box, I'm going to put in a frog. And in my fourth box, I'm going to put in another frog. So, you can put your animals in, in any order, but this is the order that I've done. Now, we need to fill in the bottom row. So you need to get yourselves a felt tip pen. And in the first box, we have a monkey, so I need two quavers. So the way I draw two quavers is 
I need two dots like this and then I need two stems coming off each dot like this and then I need to draw a line attaching them at the top like this and then I have another monkey so I need another two quavers so I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to draw two dots like this two stems like this and then I'm going to attach them at the top like this and then for the next box for my third box I have a frog so I need one crotchet so one crotchet looks like this I need a dot just one dot like this with a stem like this and then I have another frog so I need another one crotchet so I need one dot like this with a stem and then we have our rhythm and you can practice clapping and saying your rhythm my rhythm would go like this monkey monkey frog frog so why don't you have a go at practicing yours and wow, what fantastic learning you've done today. Not only have you learnt the beginnings of reading music, but you're even composing now as well. Thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.